So coming into child's pose or seated, your choice. Remember child's pose can be knees wide or together. Together might be quite strong on the back, so see how you feel. Arms by the side or in front. I won't hold it because you won't be able to hear me. Okay, so close your eyes wherever you are. Relax the shoulders. Relax the abdomen. And take some deep breaths. to find a real softness to the mind and the body this morning. Hopefully being first thing, we've not had enough time for the mind to start getting too busy. But if it is feeling like that this morning, that would be completely understandable. And I want you to concentrate on giving your breath your full attention. And it doesn't matter if the mind uh, wanders. I just want you to keep returning to the breath. Use this sense of life force in the body to bring a sense of nourishment, a sense of positive energy. And as you breathe out, let go of any fatigue, and any tension. Just take a moment to notice how the body's feeling today. How's your back feeling? Is it feeling tight from sleep? Are you carrying any tension around the shoulders? I just want you to breathe into those spaces, big, full breath. And then breathe out to let go. Another three deep breaths, really breathing into the back and the belly. And then breathing out to soften any residual tension that might be hanging around. Concentrate on taking full breath. child's pose keep your right arm forward so I'm going to thread the left arm underneath and turn the gaze to the right so turn your left ear to the floor if you're sitting simply bring your arm across the body so if you're in child's pose it's going to look like this Just finding a gentle stretch into that left shoulder. So if your head doesn't reach the floor, then this is always an opportunity to use a cushion or a block here. your left arm forwards and then switch. So right arm's going to thread under left. If you're in child's pose, turn your gaze to the left. If 
you're seated, just hug that arm in towards you with the opposite arm. Come back up and onto all fours. Now you can either swing your legs around to the side and come to seated, or cross your legs at the ankles and come to seated this way. Now, obviously, being early morning, if you are feeling tight, I'm sure most of us are a little bit. You can always perch up on a block or a cushion for this, or a blanket. And we're going to take some seated cat cow. So starting on the inhale, I want you to hold on to your knees. I want you to take a deep breath in, lift the chest. Maybe take a little gaze up. And as you exhale, round the spine and pull on your knees and bring your chin towards your chest. Inhale, arch the spine a little, shoulders draw down the back. And then exhale, chin to chest, navel to spine. Just keep moving fluidly between your gentle back bend and then your cat back, rounding and pressing between the shoulder blades. back to center. Just change the cross of your legs. Make sure your right hand on the mat, stretch your left arm alongside your ear. That's it. So obviously I'm mirroring you here. Stretch your fingertips away from you as you press your left sit bone down. So you're trying to get as much length as you can. Lower belly's pulling in gently. the hand to come up and switch sides. You can land with the armpit or one at the right shoulder. And then press all the way up to seated. If you're sitting on the block, just get rid of it and place it off to the side or a cushion. So you may find it useful in this next bit. So we're going to swing our legs around to the left. So it doesn't matter if you do it a different way, we will be doing both ways. And you can place your head on the floor if it can comfortably get there, or on the block or a cushion. And bring the knees in towards you. And then we're going to stretch that top leg out straight. You may find holding the foot feels a bit tough, so you can always hold anywhere along the leg. But reach across with both hands so your hips are stacked, your shoulders are stacked. Just take a moment here. You may feel that feels quite strong in that right leg. You may find it's absolutely fine. You may find that feels a little bit intense. But if you do want a little bit more, just tuck your chin slightly and round your back slightly so you get more stretch in the back and maybe all the way into that left hip and down the hamstring. Turn back to where you were if you did tuck your chin. I'm going to take an inhale, open that top arm out wide so you're in a twist. And then exhale, bring it back towards your leg, foot or ankle. 
Inhale, open, maybe bring that shoulder down towards the floor. And then exhale, close. And you can come off the block or the cushion if you, if you want to at this point. Good, a couple more. We're going to switch sides. So just bend that top leg, press into the hands to come up. Just swim around. Do you on your left hip? Place your head on the block or a cushion if you need it. Bring your knees in towards you. And then extend your top leg straight. Maybe hold the foot. Don't force your hands to reach the foot. You can always bring the foot up closer towards you as well. So those of you that want a slightly deeper stretch, bring the leg up towards you. And just settle in here, take some deep breath. that open close motion so take an inhale open that top arm take your twist and then exhale close big breath in to open and exhale three more Okay, and then bend that top leg, press into the hands to come up, place your block or cushion off to one side and make your way into downward dog. And let's start by walking out the legs. the lower belly pulled in here. Keep your arms strong and your hands pressing firmly into the mat. And then we're going to walk forwards. Bend the knees so your chest is resting on your thighs. So take it nice and easy. And then wrap your arms behind your legs. Maybe hold your opposite elbows. Take a breath in. And exhale, fold. So relax your head here. Let the back of the neck lengthen. And maybe sway forwards and backwards. And then lower your hips, look forwards, bring your hands to your hips, and then push into the feet to rise up. Feet to a hip width, stretch your arms up, hook your thumbs, take a breath in, and then exhale, hips to the left, stretch your arms to the right. Inhale, come back to centre, exhale, hips to the right, arms to the left. Just gently moving side to side. Keep the base of your big toes rooted. And then come back to centre, tighten the belly and pull your right knee into the chest. Wrap your hands around your knee, hug that knee in and press firmly into that left foot. Now tighten your left glute, tighten the thigh muscle. 
Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, release that knee and step it back. And place your hands to the mat for a low lunge. Back knee down. Point the toes away. Take an inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, sink your hips. And take another breath in, inhale. And then exhale, hands to the mat. Step back into tabletop. Take an inhale into cat. Exhale into cow. Inhale, neutral spine, lower all the way to your belly. Point your toes back, bring your arms alongside the body, press into your palms, engage between the shoulder blades. Literally just lift in the chest a little as you press your tailbone down. Feel the lower belly tighten. And then bring your hands back to the mat. Push back up onto your hands and knees. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Take five breaths here. If your legs are feeling particularly tight this morning, bend your knees and focus on lengthening your spine. So kind of reaching your sit bones back as you push down through your hands. And then look forwards, bend your knees, step your right foot forwards, back knee down. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, press your hips forwards gently. Inhale. And then exhale, hands to the mat. Step forwards, inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, hands to your hips. Inhale, rise up to stand. Reach your arms up, hook your thumbs. Take a breath in, press into the feet. Lean your hips to the right, arms to the left. Inhale to centre. Exhale the other way. And again. And then coming back to centre. Pushing into your right foot, tighten the belly, pull your left knee up and reach your hands or interlace your hands behind your knee. Pull that knee in towards the chest, press down into your right foot, engage your glutes. And then release. Slowly step back into a lunge, tighten your belly here. Hands to the mat as you lower your back knee down. Wiggle that left foot back, so make sure you've got a stretch in that left hip. Reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, pause here. Breathe in to reach up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back, tabletop. Inhale, into your cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale to neutral. Exhale, lower down. Turn your palms or fingers to point back, palms down. Inhale, lift the chest. Make sure your tailbone is anchored so you're not um, compressing or over compressing the lower back. Tighten the belly, take a breath in. And as you exhale, bring your hands back next to your chest. Push back up, hands and knees. Downward dog, five breaths. So just check in with your hands, make sure their fingers are spread and you're pressing forwards with your fingers. Your thighs are rolling in slightly and the heels are rooting down. A couple more breaths. And then inhale, look forwards, bend the knees, step your left foot forward. If it doesn't quite get there, give it a helping hand, get it to the top if it can go. 
Back knee down, inhale, low lunge. Exhale here, inhale to reach. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step forwards, feet hip width, inhale. Bend the knees, hands to your hips, exhale. Inhale, push into the feet to rise up. Reach your arms up, inhale. And then bend your knees, chair pose. Check for your toes so your knees aren't shooting forwards. Get your weight back. Push into your heels. Tighten the belly and gaze forwards. Press your hands towards each other so they're squeezing a block. And then turn your palms out, interlace your hands behind you, open up the chest, inhale, and then exhale, dive forwards, relax your head, and hold for about five breaths. So we need to concentrate on squeezing between the shoulder blades, legs can be bent here, depending on how you're feeling this morning, otherwise you can start to press them back. Be mindful to not overdo it. Just breathing deeply. And then inhale, release your hands to the floor or your shins, look up. Exhale, hands to your hips, chin to chest, and then push down to rise up to stand. Okay, step out to the left, depending on where you're facing actually, but facing the camera. I'm going to mirror you, so turn your toes out a little. As you bring your feet a little bit closer and take your hands to your thighs. So we'll start in um, goddess, and I just want you to move side to side. So begin to wake up those inner thighs, maybe feeling that into the groin a little bit here. See if you can get a bit of a figure eight going on. And then come to stillness. I'm going to take the feet a little bit wider, then bend into the right knee, take your left hand to the mat. And then turn to your right and lift your right arm up. One more breath here. And then look down, take your right hand to the mat. Walk your hands to the left, so your left knee is bent, right leg is straight, so a bit like a side lunge. Take your right hand to the mat, lift your left arm to the ceiling. Tighten the belly. And then bring your left hand back down. Come to centre, turn your feet in towards each other until you're in a squat position. So turn the toes out, lift your heels up if you need to, and then squat down. Bring your hands to your heart centre, draw your shoulders back, lift the chest. You may find you need to come up much higher, and you can, you can stay here and simply rest your arms on your knees. Otherwise, let your hips come down towards your heels. Just press the thighs open. And then bring your hands to the mat. We're going to come to seated, so come onto your knees. Either swing your legs around to the side or cross your legs at the ankles and pull the knees through and extend your legs out straight. Okay. 
So remember, any forward folds can be done with bent knees or propped up on a cushion or block. Or you can use a strap or a scarf. So do grab any, any props if you need to. Take an inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, fold forwards. Reach forwards as far as you can go, and then just let the hands rest wherever they can reach. Take a breath and lift the chest up. And then as you exhale, fold forwards. Drawing your chest forwards. Slight tuck of the chin. Pressing your thighs actively down. If that feels too much, just simply ease off. Then walk your hands back towards your hips, place your hands on the mat and then bend your knees and shift your hips towards your heels. So we're going to come into reverse tabletop. With your fingers pointing forwards, press into the feet and hug your thighs in towards each other so they're parallel. Now tighten the lower belly and pull the front ribs in. So as though you're trying to tuck your hips a little. Then push into the hands and the feet and lift the hips, gazing up. And I want you to squeeze the bum a little bit here and press into the base of your big toes. There's a strong stretch into the shoulders, tighten the belly. And then slowly lower all the way down. Just wrap your arms around your shins so you're in a tight little ball, maybe feet and knees together. And just let your head bow towards your knees. And then take some deep breaths here, breathing into the back. and then slowly just come to lie down onto your back. That's it, come all the way down. Let's have a quick swig of tea. And then we're going to finish with half happy baby. So place your left foot down, bring your right knee into the, towards the right shoulder. And then flex your right foot and grab the foot with your right hand. And then bring the sole of the foot to face the ceiling. So half happy baby pose and bring that knee towards your right armpit as your foot presses upwards. If you need to, you can always wrap your arm behind your right thigh, behind your knee, if it's not accessible to reach the foot this morning. But as you pull your knee towards your right armpit, press your left hip down. Now your left leg can stay bent or you can straighten it out. It's up to you. Or maybe try the elbow inside the leg, the right arm, the right elbow inside the right leg. switch sides and place your right foot flat, bring your left knee in towards your left shoulder, pull it in with your hands, and then flex your left foot, grab the outer or inner edge of the foot and bring your ankle directly above your knee. So your left leg's at kind of a 90 degree angle. Then pull your knee towards your left armpit as you push the foot towards the ceiling. Option to bring that elbow inside and option to straighten your right leg. Stay here for a few breaths. Feel the lower belly tighten.
and then release. Just bring the soles of your feet together now in Supta Balakanasana. So knees out to the side, soles of the feet together, arms by the side, palms up. And rest here for a moment. And take some deep breaths. Just beginning to wind down now completely. If this doesn't feel good on your back, just bring your knees together. Now we're going to move into the meditation part of the practice. So do make sure you're comfortable. So you can choose to stay as you are, you can choose Shavasana, you can choose to sit up, but blankets, cushions, socks, jumpers, whatever you need, but do get nice and warm. And then when you're ready, find whichever position you want to get into for this meditation. If you're sitting, obviously it's a little bit more active. But wherever you are, if you've got your kids with you, that's so sweet. Get them nice and comfy. <laughs> Wherever you are, soften your shoulders and close your eyes. And as we meditate, the idea is that it helps us to focus, and focus on mind and body awareness techniques, which then in turn encourage us to disconnect from any day-to-day -day stresses that we might be having. So as you close your eyes, allow your attention to turn inwards. Concentrate on letting go of any physical tension. So if you're holding it in the face or the shoulders, in the belly or the hands or the legs, just soften into all those spaces and let go completely. Feel heaviness flooding the body as your whole being softens and relaxes. Completely surrendering to gravity. Obviously, if you're sitting, keeping the spine nice and long, but the shoulders relaxed. And if you find you need to move or adjust at all, do so mindfully, and then return to stillness. So take a moment now to breathe in fully through the nose. Sigh out the mouth. Do that a couple more times. For a sense of just exhaling and cleansing the entire body, letting go of anything unwanted. Just allowing a sense of peace and tranquility to wash over you. And have a sense of any tension dissolving as you sink deeper and deeper into this meditative state.
let go of any expectations and simply rest in the experience. Resolve to remain awake, listen and focus with awareness. Noticing when you get caught up in any thoughts, sensations or sounds and return to this moment. Allow all thought, sensation and effort to just melt away. awareness to the breath now and without any effort simply allow your inhales to become more full your exhales a little more complete and notice how they slowly deepen as you become more relaxed Simply connecting with the ebb and flow of the breath. Like waves rolling onto the shore. And receding back into the ocean. Consciously notice the belly rise and fall. The chest rise and fall as you breathe. We now allow the breath to follow its own rhythm. However that is for it right now, just simply let it be. And then notice if you can settle a little deeper still. Give yourself permission to enter into the deepest level of relaxation and let go. Dissolve and disappear into stillness. And just rest in this space for a moment. Simply with the flow of the breath. Slowly bringing your awareness back to the present. And as you merge into this present space, receive the following intentions as I repeat them and repeat them to yourself. I let go of what I cannot control. I sense the peaceful stillness at my center. I am light, unburdened and free. Consciously note these intentions, allowing them to take root in their own time and their own way. 
trusting in what will be. Now slowly start to feel yourself rise back. Taking deeper, fuller breaths now. Starting to let go of that sense of heaviness in the body as you begin to move slowly with your gentle roll of the head. And when you're ready, move and stretch. Take a deep breath in, out the mouth. And then when you're ready, rolling onto your side. Pausing for a breath here. And then from here, pressing yourself up to a seated position with your eyes closed. Turn your palms face up, hands in chin mudra. Let's find a moment stillness for a moment longer. your hands to your heart center. Namaste. Thanks everybody.